In this video, I'll show you how I set up my stylized materials inside Blender. First, I'll walk you through the material setup step by step, and then you'll see a time lapse of it in action. Stick around until the end to find out where you can get more resources on this texturing process. I'll start by adding a Voronoi texture, a noise texture, and a color ramp node. These will form the base of the material. Make sure you have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled in your preferences. Next, connect the color output of the texture to the color ramp node, and then link the color ramp to the base color input of the shader. To get a softer look, switch the Voronoi type to Smooth. We can adjust the smoothness value manually or control it procedurally using a noise texture. To fine-tune the look, use the scale and detail settings on the noise texture. The color ramp node helps control the contrast, allowing you to refine the material. To add color to the material, use the color ramp node connected after the Voronoi texture. Choose a darker and a lighter color for contrast or add multiple colors to create more variation in the gradient. Select the Voronoi texture and press Ctrl plus T to automatically add a mapping node. Make sure Node Wrangler is enabled. Use the scale values to fine tune the texture's proportions along different axes. To add extra detail to the material, we can introduce another noise texture and connect it to a color ramp. Then, blend the outputs of both color ramps using a mixed color node. In this case, I'm using the multiply blending mode. Now, you can adjust the same values as before to create variations in your texture. For the final step, let's add some edge damage. I like to use an ambient occlusion node, connect it to another color ramp, and then blend the results using a screen blending mode. On the ambient occlusion node, check the inside box and set the distance value to something small. This will create a nice highlighted line along the edges. If you haven't already, set the gradient colors to black and white and swap their positions. This ensures that when using screen blending mode in the mixed color node, the white areas of the gradient will brighten the base color. If you're using the divide blending mode, keep the positions as they were. Then, Adjust the color ramp gradient until you achieve your desired look. And that's it for setting up the base of the material. From here, you can add more nodes as needed to customize it further. If you want to try this setup yourself, you can download the project files from my Gumroad page, link in the description. Now, here's a time lapse of this material in action. For the beams, I added some stretched noise to add cracks in the wood. On the walls, I introduced an extra color in the Voronoi color ramp to simulate moss growth. I also used the same ambient occlusion node to add more details like mold collecting on the walls. This base material is a great starting point for experimenting with procedural, stylized texturing in Blender. Feel free to download the project files from my Gumroad page and start exploring. If you want to dive deeper, check out the end of the video. I'll share more resources on this texturing method, an outline technique, and a reference image used for this 3D model. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.